everybody! Today I brought this chicken. Around a little more than 4 pounds. I will make a really delicious Korean style chicken. It's called Tongdakgui. Actually, this is my family's all time favorite chicken. This kind of chicken was very popular before Korean fried chicken came and just roasted, but by electricity. So we call this Jeonggi Tongda. Jeonggi means electricity, rotating and by electricity, and then kind of chicken. You will see this kind of everywhere these days, like even grocery store, they sell this rotisserie chicken. But today I'm using my oven and then making really crunchy skin and also inside is so juicy and garlicky kind of chicken I make. Besides, I'll make a very delicious dipping sauce because it go well, really well together. It's uh, I'm making with cream cheese. So cream cheese is not Korean stuff, but it's delicious. So it's not going to be spicy. I'm going to serve with this my radish pickle. In my previous video, I posted the recipe for pickled radish. This is organic chicken. Let's wash. I gave this guy a shower. I need to dry out <laughs> some excessive kind of yellow fat. Remove this. Pretty much clean. Well, now I'm going to season this chicken and I prepared two tablespoons olive oil and we need a lot of garlic. I will use six. This is around four, four pounds and then six garlic cloves. Whenever I make any type of chicken dish, I use a lot of garlic. The taste really go well together. Okay, olive oil, two tablespoons and then one teaspoon salt. Black pepper, I'm just grounding around half a teaspoon. Then garlic. And mix well. So this is going to be really delicious seasoning. I'm going to preheat my oven. I'm going to use this baking pan and there's a rack. I will add some oil here. I'm going to massage it all over here. I would like to brush my rack so my chicken doesn't stick to it. And inside too. Inside the cavity, add this. Then I'll just take off my gloves. I like to arrest this guy two legs. Put this in the pan and some leftover. My oven is now preheated 350. Usually I roast around two hours over 350 Fahrenheit, but let's see, I'll just keep an eye on this. I want the you know, really golden brown skin and crunchy. And inside also all garlic flavor, really delicious one I like to make. But first, let's cook for one hour. So one hour first, one hour cooking. After that, I'm going to turn it over and then I will use butter. Butter is a secret again, because butter flavor is making really good flavor and plus also make it crunchy. And also color is a really pretty kind of brownish color. So one, two, two tablespoon. My butter is here because I like to take advantage of some little heat from the chicken you know, roasting. 
and it's going to be melted soon. And I told you we are going to make a delicious, delicious dipping sauce. First, let's use cucumber, seedless cucumber. If you have a large cucumber, maybe use one third. This cucumber is a small size and seedless, around two ounces. Half teaspoon salt. Just mix. Soon it's going to be really wet. I will squeeze out the water. So this is a cream cheese and eight ounce. Two hours ago, I just put it this my kitchen counter. Now it's very soft. And then I will use half, so four ounce. And then I will use also mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. One third cup. I will use one tablespoon honey. Now, lemon. I'm going to squeeze half a lemon. Just whisk, whisk until all this is soft, soft and fluffy. And then now, meanwhile, my cucumber is sweating. I will squeeze out excess water. This pouch, cucumber contains lots of water. Now, add this cucumber here. Awesome, really pretty. I wash my hands. I wash my hands while I'm cooking all the time. All the time, just that's why water should be right next to me. I wish my kitchen was just water is here, fire is here, and then easy, easy, easily I can cook, you know. When I move into this house for the first time, very uncomfortable because water is behind me, but now really, really, really comfortable because I know that how to do two steps after <laughs> water and fire, okay. And then now we made a really nice, delicious dipping sauce. Oh my, it looks so good. Cover this with a plastic wrap. Let me taste. <laughs> I can't help. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. I will just keep in the refrigerator. It should be really cold. Whenever I make this, everybody loves it. So my butter is all melted, so I just, I don't need to put it here. And then all I can do is waiting. Now, one hour passed. Just one second ago, my timer went off. I was in my room and then working at my computer. Now it's time to turn over. Just put some butter. Add some also butter. I'm going to put this bag in my oven. One more hour I'm going to cook. 30 minutes after, I will just come back again and then turn it over. Also butter massage. So 30 minutes after butter massage, And then turn it over. Again, some butter massage. Total two hours passed. I was going to feel my alarm ringing, but just I missed in you know, seconds. <laughs> oh my, look at that. Last butter. Cut. 
couple of minutes, I'm going to broil this to make it a little brown. This cream cheese dipping sauce looks yummy. Pickled radish. Turn off. Wow. Really nicely golden brown everywhere. That's it. This roasted chicken, really garlicky smell. My house is full of good aroma right now. Let's just eat. Wow. I like to have some one chicken leg. Get the crunch, the skin. So juicy, you see? Wow. So perfectly cooked, really juicy. Cheers, everybody. Let's have a roast chicken, Korean style garlic roasted chicken, and two kinds of side dishes. Let's have it together. I really wish I could share with you guys, really. The sauce. Or chopsticks you can use. Chopsticks are more comfortable for me. Okay, like this. It looks yummy. Mmm. Juicy and tender, not dry at all. Mm. Sweet and sour, nutty cream cheese with a lemon flavor. This is a so yummy. I invented this recipe. Crispy cucumber is make it really, really different. Mm. Pickled radish. Perfect match. Definitely you have to make these two side dishes. Cream cheese really, really make it tasty. And also, sometimes between the, your bite, this pickled radish is also really refreshing and crispy. This is an organic chicken, so this is a very totally different texture from the usual chicken. Today, we made Tongdakgui, Korean-style roasted chicken with cream cheese dipping sauce and also another side dish, pickled radish. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.